I could hear more of the dogs howling outside. My first thought was, well, we're safe in the mansion. They're not going to be able to get in here. My second thought was, I wonder if Chris is still alive. And my third thought was, windows are made of glass. God damn it, those dogs are getting in here. And this concludes another chapter of The Declassified Account of the Spencer Mansion Incident by Jill Valentine. Perhaps we'll continue that within the next year. Welcome to another late night stream of spookiness here at twitch.tv slash gamer. Hey, Stock for Order, how are you doing tonight? Mm, I hope everybody is having a good night. I'm feeling decent. I had a long weekend. It allowed me to get more done and relax a bit. Still, I could use another one of those if anybody's handing them out. I don't know. Back to the craziness that is work tomorrow. Oh, God. Things this week. Well, we'll make it work. And thank you to everybody who came out to my last couple of streams. Last night we played Vanish and Clap Clap for Short Horror Saturday. And on Wednesday, we played more of Doom, the reboot. And <clears throat> I'm glad we're finally starting Resident Evil. I have, and I was able to get it working. As I discussed before, I decided ultimately not to play my old copy of Resident Evil 2 Platinum on the PC because it's too hard to get working on modern PCs, and to instead go for the GameCube version. We played the GameCube version of Resident Evil 1. And I still I can't get my controller to work with it, and I don't know why. Maybe I'll work on that some days after work this week. So I also gotta work on the community challenge thing. Oh ah, well, we'll figure it out. It's coming to GOG. So the original, not the remake, is coming to GOG. Really stock? Is that because that would that would be amazing or I guess original Resident Evil Platinum whatever PC port <laughs> oh that's wonderful because it always I always thought it was a shame that you know if you you know Resident Evil 1 if you just want to play the new version it's a remaster of the old 2002 remake fine but, but like Resident Evil 2 and I think forward, they started changing a bunch of stuff, and like, like the camera and controls are completely different, so it's a different experience. And if I'm going to play the some of the original survival horror games, I might as well go with the original experience. I say after playing the GameCube remake of the first one. What can I say? I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> okay, so the PC port of the original one is there. Nice. I mean. I'll still try and get a nice boxed copy of it someday. Wait, those go for a couple hundred. Maybe I won't. <laughs> but I love that they're doing that. You know, GOG comes through once again. That's great that, you know, people can play the original without resorting to emulation or trying to get the old PC versions working. Yeah. <clears throat> but we're playing the GameCube version... Which is not a remake, it's just a straight release, is my understanding, tonight. And, yeah. It won't be a long stream, but enough to get us into the game, hopefully, and I'll be using the keyboard and mouse. And, let's see. Oh yeah, for the community challenge that was just successful, I'll, uh, I'll uh, pay the piper next Sunday. I'll announce that each stream so that everybody can anticipate it. And oh, the new challenge going soon. Oh, is it like? Okay, then you know I, I haven't looked at them side by side, so maybe they did increase the graphics, but not as much as they did for Resident Evil One. And maybe it's just more of a straight enhanced port as opposed to a remake. But uh, I don't really know. <laughs> uh, game, 
GameCube was the first like next generation console that I had. And those, what do, you, what do you next generation even mean? <laughs> I wouldn't get a PS2 until later. <clears throat> um, I think if there's anything else I was supposed to tell you guys or announce. Hmm. Yeah. So I assume they'll catch us up to speed, but the pl the plot of Resident Evil One basically, and uh, if you guys want to avoid spoilers, you might want to cover your ears for the next ninety seconds. Is uh, we were uh, we were playing two members of a basically a special police unit that was sent to investigate bunch of killings outside in the forests and the area near this big mansion and we um, ended up stranded in the mansion as wild uh, zombie dogs roamed the grounds outside and we uh <laughs> yeah, spoilers there's zombies and we uh, found some survivors from the previous team um, tangled with big snakes big spiders Oh yeah, and zombie ravens, which was pretty badass. And zombie dogs, which I hated. And yeah, and then it turned out that somebody was killing, that, that was specifically killing the members of the old team, and we found out in a really great plot twist that uh, uh, Albert Wesker, who was uh, our commanding officer, was actually Dr. Wesker, who was uh, working with the... Uh, the Umbrella Corporation that had been performing these horrible experiments in the mansion to create uh, basically biological weapons. And we ran into some bees and some human insect hybrids, delightful things. And then ultimately, uh, Dr. Wesker uh, activated this giant monster super soldier, which promptly killed him, because that's how that stuff usually goes, and we managed to destroy the thing and uh, escape. And thus begins Resident Evil 2. Wrong screen. Capture is the wrong one. Oh, thanks. Yeah. There we go. We have to choose between which protagonist we play as, just like in the first one. And yeah, let's actually watch the intro movie. Yep, makes me want to put a quarter in. Like a lot of people argue online about which one's easier, Leon or Claire. But I've read some people say that Claire's has a slightly better story and more powerful weapons, or more weapons, although Leon can take more damage. So, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking I'll go with Claire. Leon's a dumbass. <laughs> a comic dumbass? Like it's fun to laugh at him? <laughs> I'm zoomed in just slightly too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, um. 
It sounds like it could be fun. Um, maybe. Nah, we'll go with Claire. I mean, maybe I tempted to play through both, but probably on my own time. Fighting foes is not the only way to survive this horror. Giving us a hint? Got it, we can push stuff around just like on the first one. Okay, and this and it may look a little choppy because I'm playing it at sixty frames instead of thirty frames, because if I cap it at 30, it kind of wonks up the sound, unfortunately. Started in game to continue. <laughs> mm. No hard mode. I guess you have to unlock hard mode. Uh, I'm feeling bold. Let's play normal and then regret it for the next 12 streams. Hey, Nifty Ness. Yeah. Resident Evil 2, finally. Quite a while after I beat the first one. But how are you doing tonight? You guys, please go follow Nifty Ness. Are you playing? Path of Akrad. Or, or Akra. My overlay is blocking the letter. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting started. I'm doing okay, thanks. I feel like I had a fairly productive weekend. Can't get my controller to work. I'm playing on keyboard, but we'll work on that. Resident Evil 2. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. And Barry. But the okay, Umbrella Barry. Corporation's experiments were far so maybe I didn't need to read Captain for you guys if the game did. Look, 
I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There! Buckle up. Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town. And the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet mm. you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Ah! No! Oh. Look out! Oh. You okay? Still in one piece. I'm doing all right. How are you? Hey! I'll meet you there. Okay. They were parted by an unescapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. Oh, shit. Oh shit, there's more. Ah, there's more. That one's burning. He won't be coming back with a crimson head. Oh, the character runs too fast in this version. Makes it easy to escape. <laughs> It'd be good for me if I can avoid him. Use the lockpick on them. Oh, is that? That is the lockpick, yeah, just like Jill had. So. Probably should have just run past them, but remember. Didn't have much luck using the knife in the first game. <laughs> yeah, Jill, the master of unlocking. Yeah. 
Running so fast now, are you, Claire? Hopefully, I'm my brother. I am immune to bites. I'm not going to turn into a zombie anytime soon. Is that a useful item? I think so. I should probably restart at this point. Oh no, where is Doc? Gunshot. Yeah. Because I got bitten so many times that he that early. Resident Evil 2. I'll eventually kill some of those zombies. You can't keep burning forever. <laughs> Not save scummy yet. You can't save scum this game. You need typewriter ribbons. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Hmm. Okay, let's talk, uh purchasing things. The case is broken. There's nothing useful inside. Let's also talk about that window you have there. I don't like it. I know in some of the later games you could like collect money and buy stuff. Yeah, killing you softly. It's uh, my first time playing this and I've only played the first one before. Gun cases and related paraphernalia. Useless trinkets. It's minus two Celsius. Wow, that's that's freezing stock. <laughs> yeah, you've you've played this before, uh, killing you softly, right? And I know you said you played a couple versions, right, stock? <laughs> Yes, the H gun. Which is short for hydrogen gun. Yeah, I like that. 
little Japanese horror movie, The H Man, from the 50s. Yeah. Paper dated September 18th. It looks irrelevant. Nice, you played those original enemies. Ouch. So they can go through the window, but I can't. Never mind, then. Shit, I should have tried to talk to him more first. Yeah. Let's drag this dumpster in front of the door. Game says no. Resident Evil 1 was the first PlayStation game you owned. Can I kill them through the... I hear birds. Okay. Nah. The game's a little too realistic for that. stock. Well, we hope it's nice and warm there, in bed at least. And hey, Rocket Kev, I'm doing all right, thanks. Yeah, excited to play this for the first time. But how are you, Rocket Kev? Well, yeah, Resident Evil 1 is quite a PlayStation game to start off with. <laughs> Killing you softly. Hmm. Hmm. Two types of guns we can use them with. Uh, and I just don't know how long that fence is going to hold those guys. Something on the ground there. Anyways, there I go. Called it. It might have been ammo, so I figure it's worth killing these two. <laughs> Offensive. <laughs> Good one. Shoot, there were three. Wow. Ah. Play this as a kid. Yeah, I can imagine that being scary, Rocket Kev. Wow. These guys take a lot of bullets. Huh? Oh, for fuck's sake. Something shiny on the ground, but. It was just garbage. Oh wow. This co 
Code Veronica. That's one of the PS2 ones, right? I think I have that one. <laughs> yeah, first time has scared you enough. Uh, need a little time to get used to the idea. <laughs> trying to... Should I keep going here? <laughs> when you kill them, they might still be alive. Like, they'll get back up. Can't pick that up. Oh God, I wasted so much ammo. Ooh, sorry about that. Oh, good. More bullets, thank God. Eh, it's at a gun shop owner's van. Oh, no way to get around him now. Towards the zombies, they can grab your leg. <laughs> oh, he's still not dead. Hey, there's not enough bullets into this guy. This is a place I can avoid him. I appreciate not only not unfollowing me. <laughs> oh, got you. It's like you... You shoot... Or they're crawling on the ground and they can grab your leg. And I, can, I can see that generating some scares. Startling the player. I did, I did hear some ravens. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Oh. Crawling and being able to bite your leg. I'm trying to remember. Have I heard... Yeah, there. It sounds like crows, but... Did we establish... I think some people were saying in the first one it was zombie crows, not ravens. Like, maybe the... Zombie crows had gotten in and killed the raven in the mansion. I saw, I saw a dead raven and then birds attacking us, so I just zoomed up. Zombie ravens. Is there anything else to find up here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Birds is birds and fruits is fruits. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they didn't say never more, so they can't have been ravens. I just said. Or something like that. Oh, we've got a map. Useful. I was afraid they were 
So many, and I don't have that many bullets. You're dead, dead lady. Thank God the zombies aren't too smart. Oh, it says on their shirts. one, but I guess I was playing on easy difficulty the first time, or when I played the first one. Shit. Everybody dead. Finally. <laughs> nope. the easiest of the original Resident Evil games. Part of the reason I decided to play on normal difficulty. making the noise. A-N-I-I is what their shirt says. Just saying, fans haven't developed t-shirt lore for this. Yes. Get all the bullets. Good thing people leave bullets lying on the buses. Oh, well.
Where is that? The one I kicked? Maybe I killed her with one kick. Oh, oh good, that was him. Stay dead. use for briefcases. No signs of life. But any signs of death. <laughs> oh, I kicked her head clean off. Wow, yeah, that's... Wow. It's fun when you get to kill zombies like that. Any good time and Resident Evil 1, where Jill found a zombie in the bathtub and crushed his head. That was fun. Cars now. Ah, weapons. Man, I really hope I don't have to come back to all these places. God. I should have tried to get the crossbow. Alright, that's gonna cause me headaches. the stairs. I didn't press the use button. God, I shudder to think what things I'm missing. Ooh, herbs. I'll take more herbs. No, there are no herbs. so conservative with ammo in the first game and now I'm worried I'm going the other way and using up way too much. God. You guys think, should I have tried to find my way through the, like, past those two zombies in white shirts to see if there's anything hidden there? Oh wait, this is the police department. It's good. Maybe this was just another way to get there. Fountain, something is written here. To obtain, obtain the key to open your heart. I'll wait for the unicorn, the beautiful beast. Unicorn, huh? Well, suppose that beats popping eyeballs in a tiger, as the saying goes. It's 
fun to just add, as the saying goes, after random things and see if anybody like, calls you out on it. Or just like, hmm, yeah, some tiger eyeballs. Oh, computer. It's a control monitor. It can't be operated from here. Seven bullets. Feeling a little better now. Oh, a typewriter. We have no ribbons. Door lock service. All side doors locked. Doors can be unlocked via card key. From the monitor. <laughs> kind of funny they kept the typewriters as the um, item, but I like it. left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris, Jill Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other star's members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything at the risk of their own lives. But no one believed them. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But. Just go. It doesn't look okay. Okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. Yeah, we'll. We'll get you some serum. Oh. So gonna let me search the room more. Why do I think if I go back in there, he won't be, well, living, shall we say. Is there something on the desk there? Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't really cap him at 30, but I had to cap him at 60 because capping him at 30 messes with the audio and this game or this emulator, so sorry if it's a little bit choppy. Although, I don't know, it's looking smoother than a lot of the games I play. Yes, push shift to run. As far as this game is concerned, shift does not exist. lock released.
and just keep them with me in case there's a zombie apocalypse. Uh... Yeah, it's just that other room. Do you guys... I can't remember. I know there's like something about the color of the room in the first game, but if a room is light colored on the map, do you guys know what that means? just lying there like a corpse. Hadn't even shot him before and he got up and bit me. So I think... Mm. Hey, what happened? Ugh. I don't know what killed me. I wasn't looking at me, I was waiting for the zombie to come around the corner, but... Damn. And that's a good trick, Rocket Kev, if you... Now see if there's blood around them on the ground. Jeez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't want, don't want the neighbors to hear a woman screaming as she's ripped apart. Uh, yeah. Begin to ask questions like, I heard somebody being ripped apart thereabouts. Mm. Yeah, the game is basically telling us. just had a redemption for eat something strange fortunately I have something strange right here oh, here it is well it's funny you said banana and I can't eat a banana but I can eat something else fruit based it's an orange Kit Kat yeah. Don't see these in normal American stores, do you? Oh, that's definitely orange. So speaking of colors, what are the light and uh 
Uh, oh yeah, the blue and red. Do you know what they mean on the map stock? The Leon story option. Dude. Oh yeah, huh. I wonder what that is. <laughs> well, if you live in a, if you happen to live in a town with Japanese stores, and I think my roommates got this from Japan. All right, that's Japanese writing on there. No, I can't tell if the chocolate is orange or not. Maybe it's just orange on the inside. It doesn't taste that different from you know, orange chocolate you would find here, but a little more, a little stronger orange flavor than your average orange chocolate, I would say, which I like. that. Let's restart the whole game! Mm. Gosh. Should I play easy? I don't know. Um... Oh, it swaps discs. Uh. And now, maybe I should play at the easy level. Just looking up briefly what people say about them. Yeah, everybody's saying. Well, it's the easiest game in the series. Once you get the hang of it. Yeah, but how long is it going to take to get the hang of it? Mm -hmm. I don't think so, because I came across the typewriter, but I didn't have a ribbon. I was still looking for one. I feel guilty playing stuff on too easy of a difficulty. Maybe I should just try and make it through on normal. I'm sure I'll regret this eventually. Yeah, just telling us we can push things. Wow, oh, shit, the PC version lets you save anytime? You don't have to have ink ribbons? Well, shit. I wish I had gotten Resident Evil 2 Platinum working on my PC. Mm. Resident Evil 2. Maybe I'll muck about with it next weekend. I didn't. I assume it doesn't have any auto save, like.
freeze. Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't shoot. I'm a human. Ooh. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. <laughs> I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Babe, darling, you're not gonna but survive. Don't you all. worry, girly. You'll be safe. Streamer, streaming game on girly. screen. Streamer, I'm afraid. Excuse streamer, me. You must pause my stream. Streamer got a raid. Here's a raider leading raiders. Welcome hey. raider, welcome raiders. Are the raiders alligators? Hey, raider, raider, raider grapple. Huh. Hey, House of Mike. Thank you for the raid. Really appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? You guys, please go check out House of Mike. Welcome in, everybody. I'm Purblind Gamer. I'm a legally blind retro and variety streamer who plays a mixture of action games and adventure games and a whole lot of horror games. And tonight we're playing Resident Evil 2. The GameCube version. And it's proving a little harder than I anticipated. But, and uh, let me give you a shout out to Asmodon. Where are you playing? Jump King. Ah, oh, how was your stream, House of Mike? You have fun with that? And, uh. See who else is here. Hey, welcome in, everybody. Good to have you guys. And mm, oh, torturing ourselves at Jump King, so it's not that much fun. <laughs> Is that a pretty difficult game? So, yeah, we just... <laughs> Thanks, I try to be chill. That when, you know, keep getting eaten by zombies and having to restart the game. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's like, it takes a while to get to the first uh, typewriter, and when we did, we still didn't have an ink ribbon. And hey, Nancy versus Nancy. How are you doing? You guys, please go check out Nancy vs. Nancy, too. <laughs> Jump King is a game! <laughs> and that's all that can be said about that. <laughs> so, you, uh... Mm. You'd finished, uh, Nancy... You'd finished, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, didn't you? You end up enjoying the end of that? <laughs> oh, you're... Like... Gravity's your greatest foe, so Jump King's really hard for you. Oh, Drink something. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Just ice water. Without any ice. I know I put some in there before stream. Funny how that goes. And hey, Hairball. Welcome in. You guys, please go check out Hairball as well. The retro streamer. Yeah, you played an entire non-point-and-click adventure game. We'll have you no-scoping noobs in COD 4 in no time. <laughs> oh yeah, my pleasure, Hairball. Ooh, Final Fantasy Adventure. Yeah, my pleasure. Oh, nice, you got one more beer, Asmodon. But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Yeah. Idiot patronizing gun store owner. Is standing right near glass windows. Would anyone like to guess what is going to happen? Oh, you're playing through Red Dead Redemption 2 as well. Looks like a fun game. A big game. You're making new props for your stream. You're out of this. God. I just think it's worth it to waste ammo on those guys and try to get 
the try to get the crossbow. Now there's like there's four in them and we haven't seen the arrows in that cross yet. They just had. It is more ammo. I mean Kendo ain't gonna need it. Yeah, let's get out here. Buy an old iPhone to help with, like, tracking of your catatar? I don't really know much about how those, model, those models work. Hmm. <laughs> He was already up. Ah. Ah. Oh, interesting that any of the iPhones have really good face tracking. not saves coming if you don't actually get to the saving. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, Rock. Hope you do get some sleep. Yeah, I know, I have work tomorrow, too. But I'm trying not to think about that right now. it the game freeze who are you what are you doing here don't shoot I'm a human Ooh. sorry about that babe I thought you were one sail on something what's going on in this town hold on I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Now, what do you guys think? I go through my ammo and try and get the crossbow, or just run away and leave him to be eaten? <laughs> yeah, it's like a, a random roll of the dice each game. Sometimes he keeps you safe and like fights off the zombies other times he uh, gets jumped and eaten one there 
Is there anything else back here? Shotguns and rifles. Eh. Everything's been taken. Looters, I fancy. Tendo's cut in heart of Resident Evil now. Does it follow uh, him or her? make it all sound so exhausting. <laughs> That's fun. He survives and keeps randomly showing up. <laughs> oh, random at, at various points in the game, yeah, but like pre, they're always set, I'm guessing. through this way after me. Guessing, unlike in the first game, there's a lot less of, like, we're going to have to come back this way and deal with this later. I hope. Not just a poster. God, who's been throwing this many sodas and beer cans out here? The zombies are slobs. Director of Mortal Night. <laughs> hmm. What would have happened if Robert Kendo had survived? I don't know, and he follows, so it follows Leon's game. <laughs> that sounds like a fun mod. <laughs> I wonder, is it just for the, like, PC version, or... Oh, good. Always press the search button when you're facing the trash cans. Like Barney. Oh, alright, the security guard. What if he... The one security guard keeps following you. <laughs> oh, Barney, right. And then blue shift. So... We did figure out there's a way to deal with these guys. But we'll reload first. Couldn't 
to use the knife better. Oh, for the Resident Evil 2 remake. Got it. <laughs> Claire as well. <laughs> Amazing the amount of work people put into mods. It's, it's fine. Can you gradually move forward as she's stabbing? Kendo is that uh, guy with the crossbow who uh, got him. There is. Is he the gun shop owner? Because I did notice, like, all the like, gun cases were broken and the guns were missing, so it made me wonder if. And I guess he said. <sighs> Finally. Yeah, I guess the condition still isn't too bad. just came in there after looters had taken most of the stuff. So is, sorry, I know we're talking earlier stock. Is red the current room and blue is the, uh, like rooms you've already been to? Or is it, is there more nuance? Like it's a certain color if there's still something to find or something to do in the room. So I know that was in the RE1 remake. I think I saw one of them twitch. Oh, yeah, I see the arrow there. That's useful. Uh, oh, he is the owner of the gun shop, and he worked with stars before. Yeah, okay, so it's not like, you know, it's this color if there's still an item here. It's this color if you've completely cleared the room. That would make it too easy. run past them. She was on the ground, so I had to. I should have been facing down. Is he coming? Yeah, he's coming. Kind of wasted so many bullets 
shooting over that woman's head. This, all, this town was always filthy, like garbage lying around like it's, it's, you know, Iron Roses City in a garbage strike again. <laughs> what a sunny doom. Yeah. And then after, I mean, it makes sense. It's called Raccoon City. Raccoons rummage through our trash. Maybe the trash going like lying everywhere. How far into the game do we actually get to meet the zombie raccoons? <laughs> yeah, garbage city. Well, they didn't want to call it that, so they changed the name to something garbage adjacent. More herbs. see one. Yeah, don't see any reason to go in there, though. I can't think they'd have boxes of bullets lying on the ground right outside the police department. Exactly. Yeah, raccoons spread trash everywhere, so we name a city after them, and then we spread trash over them. Which came first? The name of the city? Or the trash scattered around? Oh. There's one hidden right next to the... Yeah, we're on the same wavelength, killing... That's good. You get two ink ribbons for each one. What the? Was it three in the first one? I guess I was playing the first one at the easier difficulty. That's good. Now we can start hoarding them and being paranoid about them as well as ammo and health. Well, might as well talk to the friendly cop first. Who is a. Uh, Slightly under the weather, shall we say. Sustained, uh, minor lacerations in the field of duty. Hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother, Chris. We lost contact with him. 
over ten days ago. Chris, Jill, Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We hey, should Captain have listened Baco. to them. Welcome in. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything at the risk of their own lives. But no one believed them. Uh. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. <laughs> okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. Yeah, he wants to keep all the typewriter ribbons in there for himself. Yeah. Oh, did he lock the door? Kind of sounded like it. And how are you, Captain Facco? <laughs> yeah, the umbrella was behind everything. And usually it's above us. He conveniently left out the whole traitor in our midst part. Yeah. Police covering up the true story. Bit of an embarrassment for stars, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he... Yeah. Dragged himself up and rushed to the door as soon as Claire was out. Like, hmm. I guess she really doesn't need to worry about him. Huh. I'm doing alright, Captain Faco. I'm glad to finally be starting this game. Worried that I'm not playing it well and I should be playing it at the easy difficulty, but <laughs> we'll see. Lock the doors with the key card. Click. Yeah, I mean, I think I better I better use the ink ribbon at this point. Yeah, no, you were right. I, I picked it up earlier, Stock. It was like, it wasn't visible, but if you just walked along the desk pressing A, you're like, oh, here's the ink ribbons. Hmm, I feel much less worried now. Worry about having used up too many ink ribbons will kick in later. Yeah. Rude telekinetic officer. Which way? We can try both ways. Fall over. Mm. Yeah, I fell over. Mm. Ooh, we go 
good thing about the remake is it helps you in, like aim. Oh, kicked his head off too. If we don't walk past that one lying on the ground, then if it's like some of the crimson heads and. Resident Evil 1, he won't be an issue. Is there a light on there? Like an, an answering machine? Ooh, ribbons. We like ribbons. You know what else we like? Bullets. A really old computer. I don't see any other bullets on that desk where he's taking a nap? front of the frame. We can, uh, and then there were none. First film adaptation. Ooh, a safe. Yeah. I guess that wasn't it. So they let you stack herbs like typewriter ribbons. Yep, a lot of herb in the police station. Question is. <laughs> a work and no play makes Claire a dull girl. work to be done here. She's ever going to find her brother. thinking I'll have to like this uh, game will be forfeit so I feel okay about checking this out oh it's not a trap <laughs> I just don't trust anybody Interesting stock. So you can pre-order, basically, when you buy the trilogy, the classic trilogy on GOG, you're pre-ordering those two. But you can still buy one separate. But then I wonder if they'll do like Steam does, and when you buy the rest, 
And if you go to buy the trilogy later, it'll be like it's... You already own one of these, so it's less. Still don't trust him not to get up. A heart is hatched under the keyhole. Well, geez, Claire, if only you had something with which to pick locks. Because that, unless I'm apparently mistaken, is a lock! But no. So far, the lock picks being useless. Or she just picks the locks without telling us about it. Okay, so this is good to know. We'll have to go back in that other room no matter what. Check the filing cabinet. Nah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that it usually does, but if they let you buy the whole trilogy and they're not out yet, or two and three aren't out that yet. It's kind of like a pre-order. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good that I'm playing on um, uh, the console version, so I'm not tempted to save scum. That's a good question, killing you softly. Um, this is because I've taken so much damage, I'm wondering if... If I should... You just let this life go and we start from the time fighter since we're so close to it. Reload faster. Your brother's a cop. He should have taught you this. I guess any time ah, anytime she kicks one, it's an instant kill. Nothing to care about. What? Don't be so despondent, Claire. was very close, agreed. Yeah. Nothing is wrong. There are zombies overrunning the town! We just saw them kill people! And Claire's like, oh, there's cola in the machine! Nothing is wrong! Jeez. I mean, I wish I were as chill as her. September 28th, Night Shift. Night Shift, George Scott. So at this point... I mean, if I'm going to... Exploring now before I go back to the to the save. Ooh, is that the power box? Hmm. Nothing inside looks useful. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> nothing to care about, but nothing is wrong. Unless the fact that you have nothing to care about is what is wrong, Claire. something walking. Resident Evil 2. Oops. Resident Evil yeah, the 2. mixed up. Thank you. 
once again stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. Right, so one of your parents hear the noise and it's like, I'm not actually killing somebody, Dad. I'm not even playing video games where you kill somebody. I'm just watching video games of people getting violently killed. This door. Is it zombies? Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. Useful. We can store things. I was wondering when we were going to come across one of those. Police memorandum. October or August 23rd, 1998. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with four-digit lock has been moved from the Star's office on the second floor to the Eastern office on the first floor. 2236. Raccoon Police Liaison Department. They're sending out a memo so everybody in the police station can open the safe. I ain't grousing. The police memorandum has been filed. Hopefully in Claire's pocket and not in, you know, a filing cabinet. anything. The desk is locked. Will you use the lockpick? I don't see why not. A first aid spray makes its return. Nothing special. An office over by the reception desk. Sorry, why did they try to tell me? Oh, maybe to go back into the main room. to also manage the kerosene resources in this game. One less thing to worry about. Memos have been posted. Nothing useful. Discarded files. Go wide around the corner. Open close switch or the shutter. It can't be activated since the cord is cut. Hmm. dead. Really don't like these windows. Her knees kind of look like Barbie knees. <laughs> you 
you died. <laughs> wow. Venoms can take away so much of your health. There's just like two hits. Resident Evil 2. Yeah. <gasps> I know, they're wonderfully creepy. Quite nightmare inducing in the best way possible. report anyway. Okay, I guess the code is the same each time. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Niftiness. Oh, thanks, Niftiness. We just got 30 seconds of a Parker's voice. That means I have to talk like this. Like a Parker's from Super House of Dead Ninjas. I'm pretty sure I saw something out the window. But I can't destroy it. It was probably one of those long-tongued fellows. They're getting to be quite a nuisance. Well, for now, we'll just keep trying to kill whatever that thing is. The head is missing. It seems to have been twisted off like the lid of a jar, as though somebody mistook him for a jar of olives. Don't look up. You never know what you're going to see. <gasps> and I think that was 30 seconds. Thanks. Okay, we're not coming back here until we have a shotgun. And we also had a redemption for examine a game box. Thank you, Stock for Water. Resident Evil 2. She's still yelling. How dead can she be? And then I should start looking for a stopping place soon. Where should I put? Hold on a moment. Sorry, chaps, we just had a redemption for. Examine a game box. And here's one that we actually played a little while ago, but I never showed off the box. And it's that classic of rock and roll that everybody loves and everybody has heard of, and you can now buy on Steam, Iron Roses. 
Now isn't that just about the rockiest cover you ever seen? Ooh. It was one penny and then it was raised to a dollar. I got lucky. Oh, hey, that's the loading screen. <laughs> and what it is, it's, it's just this slipcover box that fits over the standard DVD case. <laughs> an FPS. It would be awesome if it was an FPS. But no, it was a point-and-click adventure. Oh, there was. Wasn't Virtuoso that FPS game where you play like a rock and roll star playing an FPS game? It, it was the 90s. It was weird. Looks very, very similar. And here's... What's inside? Oh, the disc must still be in the drive. And the manual. Which is like one sheet. Oh yes. Not the most exciting box we've seen here, but to be fair, also not the most exciting game we've played here. I dare say I'll ma it'll make a comeback in our game giveaway roster. <laughs> hey, how's it, Mike? Oh, glad you're comfy. No, it is getting late. So we'll. I do want to get to a good stopping place, so maybe... Yeah, maybe we'll go clear out the safe and, do, and uh, like get all the zombies around there and then... God. Resident Evil 2. Same here, that's me most of the time, Nancy. <laughs> like, I'll worry about it tomorrow. Because then it won't be any longer. Hmm. All I have to do is wait until it no longer is. Yeah, it's good to always be comfy. All the games you've traded with a manual. Oh, then whoever you traded them to took care of them properly and didn't, you know, lose the manual or something. <laughs> yeah. I like game manuals. Some of them are really fun or have extra things. Oh, hey, you too, Asmodon. Thanks for hanging out. And, uh, yeah. Hope I see another one of your streams soon. You're playing Seven Days to Die. Two, two, three, six. Is there any reason to? I gotta dump herbs in here eventually. Might as well do it now. Pick the lock. She's still fine. We did get nipped a couple times. <laughs> oh, kill you softly. Yeah, you would like, on the way home from the store when you bought the game, you would read the manual in the car. <laughs> well, that's fun. Just updated seven days to die, and it's been a good update so far.
<laughs> the bleeding arm stuck to it. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was intentional, right? That wasn't like a bug or something. Too. Yeah, I keep seeing that toilet paper on the ground. Yeah, I know there are more herbs. I figured I would munch that one now. A couple hidden in the chief's, the chief's office or whatever. I know. Maybe he comes out of the office. Maybe that's why the first time he was able to kill me. Yeah, push your damn chair in zombies. It's almost like you want it in my way so that you can eat me easier. Oh, wait. You know, you dead bastards are just about clever enough for that. Really doesn't look like there's anything else by that, that guy in the lower left. I'm just going to keep searching here. I'm using the camera angles to good effect when you can hear things, but. And you know they're in the same room with you, but you can't see them. circles. Yeah, 
he ain't getting back up. He knows what's good for him. Is that more ammo there? Was it? I thought there was more. Maybe I'm just remembering when I found the ink ribbon. Two two three six. Oops. God, now I'm worried again about being so low on ammo. I'll spend most of the game like that. You take somebody's lunch? Oh, acid rounds. And a map. So now we know what police departments keeps in their safe keeping their safes. Maps and acid shells. Them herbs at. Should be ferrying them back to the chest, but oh right, the heart door. I gotta go back to the chest anyway. I don't know if because this. Yeah, this just goes up to the door that's locked from the inside. And then we can go down that long hallway with the schedule posted where we killed like a bunch of five zombies in a pile. Oh shit. forgotten I almost woke him up. <laughs> that would have been bad. That would have been very bad. But the corpses are all gone. Who moved them? Something. 
anything there? Hmm, guess not. We'll explore a little further. And if we don't get killed. But then I really gotta wrap up for the night. Busy week ahead of me. Busy day tomorrow, probably. Hey! Heart of Mithril! Welcome in! How are you doing tonight? scary than play them yourselves. George thought. Oh, I will. Or at least I'll be perpetually a little anxious for you, being like, should I have fired that tenth bullet uh, an hour ago? But hope your night is going well, Hard and Mithril. There's no further comment on those on the chalkboard. Nothing inside looks useful. I just hear these loud bangs, and I wonder what they are. be used by themselves. Well, I don't know, maybe if I stick one in a keyhole, hit it with a hammer? What, I thought this was a survival horror game. And that was hardly the weirdest thing in that game. Yeah, this is a good place to engage them. Lady, but I don't trust you not to vomit on me. Ah. Yeah. Hard to vomit after your head has been kicked off. Ah, it's too tight, I don't think I can get around him. Damn it. Pay 
painting. Nothing unusual, just a painting. What's the sign say? A club. We got a card theme going on. Oh, no worries, Captain Thacko. Now, we're gonna be wrapping up in just like a few minutes, probably. But I hope you get a good night's sleep. something glinting in that other room. Oh, it is ammo. Good. It's a magic mirror. <laughs> Not a two-way mirror, but a magic mirror. Nothing special on this shelf. through the other one. Wait. I saw a switch on the wall. Diamond. Let me just make sure that switch doesn't do anything. Interrogation room is the diamond key. So that's not. Yeah, it disables the magic in the magic mirror, and then you can just crawl through it. Wait, that'll make it more magic. just turns the mirror into an ordinary mirror that you can't see through. <laughs> no, no. Sometimes even police officers need to, you know, check their outfit, and make sure they look nice and presentable before they interrogate criminals. You don't want to go in to interrogate the criminals and realize your tie is crooked, because then how can you inspire fear in the criminals? Especially, I'll just see it as ah, slovenly police officers. Of course, maybe you want them to underestimate you. I don't know. I, have, I haven't become a cop yet. to consider near staging interrogations. So wait then Or locked doors. Right. Correct. Then. And right. Yeah, that'll only 
leads to the stairs. Okay, so they correspond to the different colors of keys. Got it. Yeah, there's a little placement by the dark rooms that makes sense. They're all locked. decided to unlock the door? Nope, he's still being rude. I think the only place we have left to go on this floor is that, uh, where, uh, ceiling, ceiling venom is hanging out, and so I think I may regret this, but I think we should save our game now and call it a night. But I may be wasting a ribbon. Risky, but I do need to wrap up and head to bed, so. Let's say Claire A. For some reason, I thought her last name was Redfield. I believe her name is Claire A. Redfield. The A stands for Absinthe. But I think that's a good time, good spot to end for the night. Well, slow progress, me dying a lot, but we were all expecting as much. Hmm. Um, yeah, thank you guys for coming to hang out and enjoy more classic survival horror with me. Um, we'll find somebody to raid. See who's still online. Well, my pleasure, Nancy versus Nancy. But as for what's coming up on stream, um, means, oh, A means disc one. Okay. Gotcha. I guess it could have been slot A too, but now because we picked the slot first. And on Wednesday, we're, we should finish uh, Doom the reboot. Which we've also been playing for quite a while. And next Saturday we'll do Short Horror Saturday. Might do a couple of games by the <sighs> developer who did Insanity Souls. Yeah, with what Doom's done, I can free up a lot of disk space. <laughs> and yeah, then next Sunday we'll be playing more Resident Evil 2. And I don't know, I'm thinking maybe after Doom Reboot, instead of moving on to Doom Eternal, we'll play some uh, Sam and Max Season 2, because that's another one I do want to get to. And we've been playing a lot of FPSs, which I like, but I know a lot of people like the more plot-driven adventure games to watch. <laughs> okay. Is online. Mm. It's been a while since we raided him. Oh wait, is Blind Bandit's birthday? Oh, okay, we obviously have to raid her. She's playing. Uh, she's a fellow legally blind streamer, and she's playing Pikmin Four which is a sequel to Pokemon 4. I mean, that's why the names are so similar. Hmm. 
Okay, with whichever disc you start, it becomes a. Got it. <laughs> so like the thought of her name being Claire Absinthe Redfield, because she was absent from the first game. <laughs> Thank you again, everybody, for hanging out. I appreciate all the chatters and all the lurkers. And thank you for the raids tonight. And you guys can follow me on Twitter and MySpace, where I post stream announcements and uh, various random things. And you can find VODs of my past streams up on YouTube. And let me take this opportunity to remind everybody to worry obsessively about your ammunition and your typewriter ribbons and the plants that you could eat. Because if you don't, you'll never... Wait, this is terrible advice. Don't worry about it too much. When was the last time you needed to use a typewriter ribbon in real life? Well, maybe we should be saving more in real life. I think about that often. <laughs> Thank you, Niftiness. But have a good night. Uh, say hi to Blind Bandit. Wish her a happy birthday. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday for the thrilling conclusion of Doom 2016. Assuming I'm good enough to actually beat the bosses. You too. Good night, Nancy. Good night, Stark. <laughs>